Alright, what's going on YouTube? Today I am doing a March Reptile Room Tour. I'm going to start the room off with all the fish stuff. So right here is my 40 gallon breeder. Fish tank. I don't know if you can see him right there in the back. Right there is my bumblebee catfish. And then right there I have a long skirt tetra. And right above there is a female guppy. And right here is my angelfish. And then right in there is my Pictus catfish. And if you can see, I got a new addition back there. That little thing in the mo back, moving in the back is my new tire track eel. See if I can get a good, some good video of him. His name is Spot. So up, oh, he's gonna, he's popping his little nose out over here now. Hopefully, I can get him moving. He's really cool. He usually hides in this tree stump right here. I recently just rescaped the tank. Go back so you can see the whole thing. It's pretty cool. And I just recently got some new additions to my reptile room, so stay tuned for them. But I'll move over here. I'm going to keep my eye on over here if I see him. Oh, yeah. And I forgot to show you. All right there is my bala shark. So he's pretty cool. But over here, I'll unlatch this so you don't have to look at the wire. Right here is my red iguana, and his name is Jed. And then both of my American bullfrogs are in here with him now. If I can get it on film, there's one of them. That one is Big Bull. It's pretty cool. There's his pond. Close this up. There he is, he's getting some heat. Right here is my bearded dragon Sal. He's really cool. He can actually be a prick sometimes, so I'm not gonna, I don't like to mess with him too much. Yeah, I'm not talking about you. And then right up here, see if I can find, get him on film. Right there is my African butterfly fish, Buddy. I apologize about the dirty glass on this one, but right in here, see if I can get him. Let's get up here, get into the cage, because he is in his hollow right now. This is Zeus, my golden skink. I can get him. There he is. There's Zeus. He is in a 29 gallon tank. It's live planted. And then right over here is my le one of my leopard geckos right up here that's Einstein and right in that log right there is my mom's gecko pumpkin and then right down under there this is my Asian tank there's four tiger barbs two giant danios and one rainbow shark 
if you're a long-term subscriber, you know this used to be my other 29-gallon. But recently, my other 29-gallon developed a crack in the middle of the night. So, not good. And I don't know if you can see it, but that red right there in the crocodile skull is my rainbow shark. And then right down there is just my quarantine tank. It's just got one of my common pluck holes that's been a jerk. So he's in there. And then right here is my goldfish. I've got five of them. There's also two convict cichlids in here. And one common pleco. The cichlids really don't mess with the goldfish, so I'm not worried about it. I'm wait when I I'm just waiting for some extra money to roll around so I can get a 75 gallon for my cichlids. And then right here is my oldest leopard gecko. His name is George. He's getting down. He's right there. He's just in his 10 gallon. I just took the lights from the turtle for a minute so I could film this. He does not have a light. He gets all the heat he needs from underneath his tank. But right here are all my turtles. Bruce, Wilma, Snapper. I'll get that out before they chew that up. Hi, bud. Don't need them chewing on that. That's some filter sponge. Well, right here is my turtles. The one right there is Snapper. Move this fishing line out of the way. I'm sitting on my bed so if you hear the screeching. Right there is Wilma. Bruce is up right there too. Snapper's underneath and Scary's right there. And then Crush likes to hide under this tree stump right here. Get down. Get my light. Um. Crushes, let's see. Let me open this so I can see something. Oh, crushes right here. So there's all five of my turtles. They're all doing really well. And then right over here, this is my green animal CJ's cage. He got his name because I actually, before I started YouTube, had a green and all that I named Croc. So, this is CJ Croc Jr. But right there, if the camera will focus on him, that is my green and all CJ. He's in this ginormous enclosure, it's all I've planted. There's actually two avocado seeds in there as well. And then I'll t show you Satan real quick. If she'll be willing to come out. Right there is Satan. She is my Plains Garter Snake. She's got a really jungly cage. She actually ate all her worms. I put some worms in there so she could forage around for them. The second they hit, she ate them. She's really cool. Has her since she was a since she was a little baby. And then now I'll take you over here. To my new additions right here I have a Bahama anole or a brown anole and right there is a little female green anole these guys are being quarantined right now because they will be going with my other green anole this is the tank it actually developed a crack but you can't really see it 
So, give me a minute and I'll go to my mom's room and get her bearded dragon. Right here is my mom's bearded dragon. His name is SJ. He is not a big fan of cameras. And he is a picky, picky eater. He will only take wax worms and mealworms and horn worms. And right here on my chair is my cat Jill, who has been annoying the hell out of me lately. She's pretty though. She only has one of her canines. She has really bad anxiety. And she really likes Jed the Iguana. So, I'll point you back at the fish tank. Because I missed him moving. But he is in the water lilies now. See if I can get a good view of him. There he is. You can see him moving around in the water lilies a little bit. His name is Spot, so. And then I need help naming the female green anole. I already picked out a name for my Bahama anole. His name is gonna be Gucci. So make sure to smash the like button and smash the sub button if you like this video. And make sure to hit the post notification so you know when I upload another video. And peace out.